And hey, well, this is Francisco from One Shirt Doctor Phone. And let's face it, we've all come across that error message from your iPhone where it just refuses to work unless you can connect it to iTunes, but that by itself won't always work either. So I would like to present you with four methods of solving the issue of how to fix when your iPhone is stuck on the connect to iTunes screen. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And before we continue, just make sure to go ahead and leave us a like and also comment any of your questions down below. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe for more content just like this. If you're lucky, then chances are that you'd be able to fix your iPhone that's stuck on the on the connect to iTunes screen by simply restarting it. And since the screen on your device won't be responding ideally, I can't restart it the usual way, which means that you're going to have to forcefully restart your device in order to fix it. But this is going to be a very simple solution that could work for you. However, that isn't really guaranteed, uh, but it is one that is at least safe to try out. And if you own an iPhone 7 or later a generation device, then just go ahead and press and hold the power button, which is is also a sleep wake button and the volume down button at the same time and to make sure that you hold both of these buttons for a minimum of 10 seconds and then just keep pressing it as your phone will vibrate and restart in normal mode hopefully at least and if you're using an iPhone 6s and older uh, devices, then the process is going to be a little bit different. You need to press the home button and the power button instead. And then just keep pressing both of the buttons at the same time for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then soon your phone will be restarted in its normal setting and resolve the iPhone stuck on iTunes screen. However, again, like this could work, but it may not work. There are times when users take extreme measures in order to fix their iPhone stuck on the connect to iTunes screen. And this restores their device and erases all kinds of data stored on it. And if you don't want to face this kind of an unforeseen situation, then go ahead and take the assistance of an ideal tool such as Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS. It is already compatible with all of the leading iOS devices and will solve the iPhone stuck on, on the connect to iTunes screen without much trouble. So just go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. To start, you just have to launch Dr. Phone on your PC or on your Mac. Like just depending on which operating system you have, it is going to work on both. And from its welcome screen, just go ahead and click on system repair. And then using a lightning or USB cable, connect your iPhone to the system and then just wait for it to finally be detected automatically. And then afterwards, you can just click on standard mode from here. On the next screen, you can just verify important details related to your device. And then when you're ready, just go ahead and click on the start button from there. And if the phone is connected, but it's not being detected by Dr. Phone, then that just means that you might have to put your phone on DFU mode. So like on the iPhone 7 and later generations, you just have to go ahead and press and hold the volume down button and the sleep wake button at the same time. And after holding them simultaneously for about 10 seconds or so, just let go of the power button and then keep pressing the volume down button until your phone will be restarted in DFU mode from there. And the same can be done for other devices such as the iPhone 6S and older generations as well. Uh, the only difference is really uh, that instead of the volume down button, uh, you just need to press the home button instead. So in this case, it would just be the sleep wake button along with the home button. This is going to initiate a download. And since it can be a pretty big file, it might take a while to complete this download. And as soon as the firmware update is finally downloaded, uh, you're going to get the following screen. And just go ahead and click on the fix now screen in order to resolve the iPhone stuck on on the connect to iTunes problem. And then just wait for a little while and do not disconnect your device as Dr. Phone Repair is going to perform all of the needed steps in order to resolve the iPhone stuck on iTunes screen issue. And then afterwards, when Dr. Phone Repair is finally done here, your iPhone stuck on connect to iTunes screen will not be there anymore. And it's not going to erase your data either. So you can simply disconnect your device and use it normally as you have them. And so the iPhone being stuck on the connect to iTunes screen is a pretty terrible situation that most people hate. Have you thought about just using iTunes itself in order to get that issue fixed? Uh, well, that could just end up working as it's going to ask you uh, to connect to iTunes anyway. So, so you may as well try that method as well. It's just that it won't always work. So step one, just go ahead and download Dr. Phone iTunes Repair. Uh, by clicking the button above, 
and then install and launch the tool. And then select the system repair tab and the new interface and then click on iTunes repair and then connect your iPhone to your computer as per usual. For any kind of iTunes connection issues, just choose repair iTunes connection issues in order to have an automatic fix and check of whether things are fine now. In the iTunes error, I'll like select iTunes errors in order to check and repair all of the general components of iTunes and then check what, whether your iPhone is still stuck. I'll just connect to iTunes screen. And then the advanced fix for iTunes is also going to be available. And the final step is essentially like just to have all of your iTunes components fixed by choosing advanced repair and it should be able to get the job done and if you don't wish to use a doctor phone in this case how do you fix this issue by other means as well i can just go ahead and restore your device and needless to say it is going to reset all of your data getting rid of crucial information and safe settings so this part is really recommended only as a last resort not so much as a main method as your device is already stuck in recovery mode you simply just need to go ahead and launch an updated version of itunes on your system and then connect your iPhone to it. And this way, iTunes is going to automatically, there's an issue with your device in the display, and the display prompt pretty similar to this. I just go ahead and agree to this prompt by clicking on the OK or Restore button. This will fix your iPhone stuck on Connect to iTunes by restoring this device. And that's it. Well, those have been four methods of fixing your iPhone when it's stuck on the Connect to iTunes screen. And if you like this video, then do make sure to leave us a like and then comment any of your questions down below. Also, do not forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you do not miss any of these awesome tutorials moving forward. So until next time, enjoy.